Hi everyone, happy Monday. We have this um, lovely calendar page today from Enchanted Forest. Now I have to admit that it is quite a daunting page. There's a lot going on and I have rather sillily decided to use Prismacolor <laughs> for this page but I do have some ideas so I shall show you. My first idea is to make a moon in the sky. So there it is. It's lovely isn't it? <laughs> so you're going to need, if you want to make a moon, a round um, shape and this is um, just a roll of tape as you can see and what I'm going to do is I want my moon to be silver so I'm grabbing my silver Prisma pencil. I'm going to do the um, inside. Sorry, my voice is going to get very loud because I'm going to, I'm doing this from above um, so I can see inside. So I'm going to basically draw around the edge of this, trying to avoid drawing on any of the leaves if I can. It's a little bit tricky. I'm doing my best. And uh, going all the way around to get as much of a circle as I can. Basically, oh, my camera's getting in my way. I can't see what I'm doing. I think that's it. Just a, yeah. So it'd be easier for you to do that than me. You won't have a big camera and tripod in your way. So I've marked out the circle of the moon. You won't be able to see it, I can hardly imagine. And I'm going to fill it in, in this silver pencil, like this. Now I'm not going to do this all on camera because it's boring, but uh, it's going to be basically completely solid silver. Now you could do this in a silver pen rather than a silver pencil but I want to get this done first so what I'm going to do now is even though I've only just started is stop the camera and just colour that silver moon with this Prismacolor silver pencil. As I say you can use any silver pencil, silver pen, you might want to just leave it white. If you want to leave it white you do your circle in the colour of your background. We'll talk more about background in a minute but I'm going to go away and just colour that in so bear with me. Oh while I'm gone you could click the subscribe button makes a big difference to the channel a lot of people who watch me aren't subscribed it's completely free so if you click it, it just helps my channel grow thank you. Hi I am back now I have coloured in the moon with the silver pencil and I actually used a Prisma blender just to smooth it out a little bit. Now all these tiny little dots I actually just covered over in silver because um, they're really small. So that is the moon. Now we're going to do um, this plant here which goes over the moon next so I'm going to come in a little bit closer for you so that we can do that. I have noticed I'm running low on battery, which is a little bit odd, but um, anyway, we'll persevere and hope that it isn't going to be too disturbing. Now, I want to do um, lots of blues in this picture. It is night time, um, and I want it to look slightly sort of spooky scary because it's a sort of Halloween-ish time of year. So for the these tendrils that are coming over the moon, I decided that I quite like to do them black. And so I've grabbed, I've got a Prismacolor black here, which I am going to use. And I felt that the best idea would be to do the bits that are right over the moon in a real dark black. So they're completely silhouetted like this. Now the little tiny dots, I'm going to struggle to fill in with my Prismacolor pencil. So I had a think and I thought, well, I could um, use um, a very thin um, I've got a set of Prismacolor Very Thins or a black from another set that I can get a bit more pointy but the other option is to use a pen which I may do now it will look darker than the pencil but I think that's okay because it's a little different bit of the plant so as you can see I am just colouring these in just black like that and I'm going to do all of the plant that over that covers over the moon in a solid black but I'm not sure whether the bits that aren't on the moon I might do a slightly different colour. So let's do one here that's slightly overlapping. So the bit that's on the moon, on the moon, you know what I mean, is still going to be black like this. But maybe where it 
um, isn't overlapping. I could do it a bit lighter. That's what I'm wondering. So we've got a bit more, more layers here and a bit less on the outside. I'm going to try that and see how it looks. We've got a line here. So this is dark, as is that bit there. And then this bit, a bit lighter. It's still black, but it's a lighter black. It looks more grey. Now I think I need to go away again and complete this it's going to be a little bit tedious if I show you all of it but I think doing it step by step and just showing you the completed bit I think is more useful than me saying I'll do this bit here and this bit there and this bit somewhere else and then off you go I think doing it in steps it helps me as well because I haven't totally planned what I'm doing to be honest I'm just thinking about it stage by stage and uh, so I'm going to go away and finish this so basically the part of the plant that's over the top of the moon is darkly silhouetted and the part that isn't is much lighter. That's the plan. So I'm going to go away and do that. Hi everyone, I am now back having completed the um, black part of the um, page. Um, I did use my very thin for the little circles and I did try and make them a little bit darker on um, on the inside of, on top of the moon then it was quite tricky. I just did the best I could. Um, I think it might look better with a pen to be honest but I was quite happy using a pencil and I had plenty of time because my camera battery went flat so <laughs> yeah so what I'm thinking now is I'd like to do the rest of the trees in possibly um, blues see these are against the sky I mean these are against the sky as well but they're lower down so I think I'm doing some sort of blues to make it look a bit twilighty I want to sort of make it look a bit spooky and I think having the black against the moon looks it's not really but a, maybe like bat like sort of Halloween like not really but you know maybe um, use your imagination squint a bit <laughs> and you might um might think it so I'm actually going to grab the indigo blue and show you um probably just the one tree just because there's a lot going on I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera but I think we start we'll do the little tree here he is and <clears throat> my idea is to do it a little bit darker and then fade it towards the moon because then there would be moonlight um I'm trying to think about with the trunk whether to just do it lighter at the top where it would be nearer the moon or whether to do it lighter on one side because the moon's on this side you see so this tree would be lighter along this side compared with that side and I'm wondering whether to do the same thing I think I will I'll show you I do them both in the same way so we want quite a dark amount of uh, intense colour at the bottom and on this left hand side so I'm going to layer it up a little bit like this I'm not sure what I'm doing with those mushrooms slash toadstools yet so I'm just going to ignore them and then take the colour up the um, trunk of the tree <clears throat> I'm going to concentrate on this side where I want it to be more intense at the moment and then so basically I'll just show you on this bit of branch the idea is to layer it up here and then just fade it towards here like that now you could do that with a selection of different colours you could do a darker blue here and then a lighter one in the middle here and then even a white on this edge but I'm lazy <laughs> and therefore I find it much quicker to just use the one colour and I rather like this colour as I think it looks quite intense but as it fades it does look sort of paler but I don't know I just think it works quite well it looks quite night -timey. I'm just trying to make it a little bit dark in the middle so that we have got some rather than just having it all the dark here we've got a little bit of transition between the on this end now on this far end where you want it to be lightest you could use a white to fade 
you could even use a black to darken this side you could use a white pen to delete this black line just on this side and leave it on this side so there are little tweaks that you can do to just emphasize it even more um, but you know it's up to you so it's the same all the way up darker here and lighter to there now here we've got a, a branch which is sideways so I will make it oops I will just color outside the lines <laughs> I make it darker at the bottom like that so again I'm coloring along my dark bit here I'm going to continue that um, dark a bit along this thin line here I'm not worrying too much about going out of the lines I never do anyway you know but um, I'm going to do a background I think <laughs> <laughs> I had planned one, so yes, with um, a pen. I'm thinking a metallic blue or black or uh, um, one with um, glitter. I haven't quite decided. Now here, although we've been doing darker along this edge all the way up here, we get to here that this bit of the branch is going to be darker along the bottom. So I'm just going to take that. A bit darker like that just trust your instincts I'm just gonna make this all dark because it's quite slim thin a little branch like that the <clears throat> same with all of these thin ones or else they're not necessarily gonna stand out the um, my idea of the blue metallic or glitter pen I'm gonna have to be careful because we don't want it to be the same color as the tree so that's why I was a bit reticent um, I think the best thing to do, um, which is what I will do, is I will um, swatch my colour pencil on a piece of scrap paper and then put my metallic blue and my um, um, sparkly blue, my, um, gosh I can't talk, glitter pen blue next to it and see which I think is going to work the best. Now here, this bit I want dark on this side and under there. And what we want with our background is a difference. So we don't want the, um, and then fade it across here. We don't want the, um, <clears throat> I want that bit darker. We don't want the um, background to fade into the tree so the tree completely disappears. I want it to look similar so we don't want it to be um, such a different colour so we don't want a sort of bluey green in the background when we've got this sort of indigo which is a quite a blackish blue so I'm hoping that one of my two pens will work with it I've got a few different options but whoops I need to use one that I know is going to have enough ink in it to last for the whole page which I'm sure any of you that use pens know the agony of. I have done pictures before where I've done three quarters of the page and the pens run out and luckily I went top to bottom so halfway I swapped pens <laughs> got away with it. Right so we've done the trunk you could fiddle a bit more I think that needs darkening a bit more but yeah it's always fiddling that can be done. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the leaves. Oh I missed that bit look to just go whoops do that bit quite hard so oh, there's a few more bits anyway let's move on to a leaf again I'm thinking moon's up here light near the top so I think with all the leaves I'm actually just going to make them dark at the bottom like this and then fade them up towards the tip like that and as I said you could use a bit of black at the base you could use a bit of white at the top if you really want to see a huge um, transition of colour but to be honest I'm quite happy with this one pencil I'm having fun I am looking at my camera and seeing there's quite a line there so I'm just gonna as I said there's always fiddling it could be done that's better I'm happy with that now <clears throat> now you might think well what are you gonna do with like these and this bit and this bit so I'll show you some of this so all the leaves are going to be done like this so bottom to top okay 
this bit, mm, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because this is from the book Enchanted Forest. You have to find the bits. I am tempted to do that in a in a silver glitter. Actually, I'm going to do that dark to light, just like with the leaves. Like that. Oops, try and do it neatly. There we go. But I'm going to do that in a glitter pen, just to make it sparkly. Why not? Now these, and all these grasses and things, everything that's along the bottom here, these little bits and bobs, I'm going to do them dark to light. So dark to light, like that. Okay, everything. Um, each leaf dark to light. Um, the stems I'll probably do quite hard, like I did some of these, just so they stand out a little bit and look different. The grass, though, I will also do dark to light like that. Okay, and the same with these little guys. So they'll have a dark stem, stalk stem, don't know. I was looking at watching a video earlier and someone said, is stalk and they spelt it s-t-o-r-k like the bird stalk the english for stem but no they actually mean different things but i can't remember which is which and stalk for a flower stalk is spelled s-t-a-l-k so it's a different word to the word for the bird so you can see those stand out quite well like that and i might I mean, normally things in the foreground would be lighter, not darker, but we want to stand out from the tree. So I'll probably do that with all of these, particularly those. This one's on its own, so it probably doesn't need to be as dark. Um, <clears throat> and the rocks as well. I'm just going to do it all in a similar way, even the bird. Okay, so I think um, you've probably got enough. What I'm going to do, though is to show you my pens and how I'm going to experiment with those. I'm not going to actually use my... Yeah, I am. Let's, no, I'm not going to use the back because I won't be able to turn it over because it have a wet pen on it. I'm going to use my rough book. And this is my um, Prisma colour that I'm using. Okay. Just going to fade it down. Swatch it like that. Okay. And we've also used black, but I'm not going to worry to, and silver, I'm not going to worry. So these are my pens. I've got my metallic, and the blue seems quite bright. I'm going to try it out and see what it looks like. I have a feeling it might not really go. But see, look at that. It looks quite magical. It's a really, really pretty colour. I'm just not sure about it. But we also have the these two. So we have a silver which might be too close to the colour of the moon. And we have a, a black, which is actually more like a dark grey. I'm not feeling any of those, to be honest. The blue is beautiful, but it's just not going to match. But in our glitter pens, we've got some different colours. I'm not entirely sure what they all look like, so I'm just going to give them a try. So we've got this colour, which could work quite dark hmm still not sure let's try the others oh, I'm trying to put them back this is also a blue We've got quite a few blues in this oh that's really pretty again no <laughs> I don't think it's a bit too much like that one I think it might be hard for you to see I hold on closer to the camera in a minute and we've got a light blue, which is a little slightly greeny, so I don't think that's any good. Okay, and then we have got a silver. Let's um, have a look at the silver. Mm -hmm. So let me hold them up for you to see. Um, I've tipped them so they're not reflecting the light. There we go. So I'm thinking this dark colour is definitely the best match. I wasn't sure about it but now I've seen it with the others I think it's definitely going to work. I'll tell you what it is in case you um, want to use it if you've got this set. Um, it is a um, jelly roll Sakura. It's one of the stardust ones with the little shooting star on the lid because it's glitter and it's number 738. 
okay now if you don't have this set of pens just do what I did swatch them and think about which is going to look the best there's a lot of pen work to do in that background another option could be pastel um, you could do grey you could do blue you could do black there's a lot of choice but it might spread all over your see the the problem I would have with pastel is that where I've left it really pale here it's going to spread into that and so it's the effect isn't going to work so I did think about doing pastel the other better option for pastel would have been to do it first which you still could if you've done just done this bit you could do pastel background in a in a a tone of blue and then um, do this pencil work after. You may want to use some workable fixatives so you don't spread the pastel all over your hand as you colour or just pop a piece of paper under your hand. So I'm trying to think if that's enough. I think it probably is. Um, you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. Um, hopefully it'll all come together. For this here, you know, I said I'd use, I'll use um, this, this sparkly silver glitter, I think. Um, for that one um, I think that will work it will stand out you might not want it to stand out so think about whether you do or you don't I'm going to make it stand out you might decide you don't want to so make sure you've got plenty of ink in your pen this one is nearly new so it should be able to fill up this whole page I do think the nib might be a bit thick for some of these tiny details so there'll be a challenge for me but we'll see so yeah I'm going to go away and finish this. I hope that's given you enough guidance, but there will be a picture at the end showing you the finished thing. And then you can decide whether you think it's worked or not. I've got no idea if it's going to work. I can see this bit working, but once I put the background on, I don't know. But without a background, it doesn't look spooky and Halloween-y. So it needs one, but uh, we've just got to wait and see. Now, if you can draw, you could draw some bats. You could draw... Um, some sort of something in here some pumpkins I'm not sure what really but you could turn that into a ghost or I don't know um <laughs> I've not, I've not got much of an imagination but you know you could make it a bit more Halloweeny. but I just wanted to try and play around with the colors or you could decide to just make all the leaves black that would look quite spooky and then maybe not worry about the shading just do everything in the like we did these in just a plain light brown I'm tempted to sort of shade them up a bit to match these, you know, make them lighter towards the um, moon. I'm not sure if it will help, it will work with that effect. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. Also, I'm worrying about how on earth am I going to get my pen between those little dots. I may just have to end up colouring over them and then dotting them on top after with a black pen. Slightly cheating. Might be the way. But there we go. I'm going to leave you on your own to get on. You're going to be able to do it. It will take time to do this, to build up the colours, but you're only using one pencil. You've got no decisions to make with regards to colour. And if you just work from one side to the other, sequentially, it's better to go that way to that way if you're right-handed, so you don't smudge what you've done already. Obviously, I've done a bit in the middle, so that's... Prismas can smudge. Some people always put something under their hand when they're using them. I find it's... I don't use them thickly enough to usually make them smudge too much. The, this black will. I'll be careful of that. But remember, you can turn your book around because it's only little, so that might help you. But good luck and enjoy. Um, I'm hoping to ha have an evening of fun with this page and uh, take a photo for you later and pop it up. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.